Have you yearned for the perfect tool? This 14.5 AR-15 chambered in 5.56 maintains its CQB capabilities while reaching out to 300 yards and more if you're a good shot. The LaRue tactical trigger is buttery smooth. Equipped with an LVPO for a crystal clear sight picture and a well-mannered buffer system makes this no longer a jackhammer, but it hits like one. This precise yet lethal weapon is the perfect tool. And I'll tell you why. Hey, let's talk about it. For the longest time, I've been putting off building an AR-15 or assembling an AR-15. You know what you, you know, you fanboys, go ahead and talk. But uh, for the longest time, I've been putting off assembling my own AR-15. The main reason is because I didn't know which direction I wanted to go in. And what I mean by that is, do I want it to be an AR pistol? Do I want it to be an SBR? What length barrel do I want? Do I want it suppressed? Do I want a, a flash hider, a muzzle device? You know what I mean? There's just so many things that you can do. Do I want long range? Do I want CQB, tack to cool? All that good stuff. And I just been putting it off just because for me, when I got so many choices, it's like a kid in a candy store. It's like, bro, I don't know what to choose. I don't. But after seeing this, I feel like this is the perfect setup. The perfect setup. Minus a few changes, adjustments, just to suit my needs and what I really want. This here, it's a work of art. We all know how I feel about art, right? So let's go through this whole thing and kind of tell you exactly what's on here. From tip to butt. By the way, this is not mine. This was sent to the channel by my boy Scooty. Scooty, I appreciate you, dog. If you don't know, now you know. Scooty is the man. All right, I haven't had the luxury of uh, shooting this thing, but hopefully I will, and that footage should be uh, soon to come, all right? Soon to come. So what we got here at the tip is we got an AAC 51T suppressor muzzle device, so it is suppressed. He does run it suppressed. It's a 14.5 lightweight. CHF Strike Industries barrel, super awesome, clean. And I think he's got a point, um, 0.625 gas block. I don't think it's adjustable, but it seems to be running just fine. Over here on the side, we've got a stream light, light. I don't know how many lumens and all that good stuff, but um, it does have two settings. So I don't know if you can, be able to identify that just by that. Um, but it does have a, a pressure pad as well. Well placed. Everything is just super sweet. Got some cord management here as well. Little zip ties. I see you, bro. And it is equipped with a vertical grip. Uh, it looks like it's also BCM. So from what I gather here is my boy is a BCM slash Geisley fanboy. It's okay, bro. We all are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. So we also have the Geisley super modular rail or handrail here. And this is going to be a 13 inch on top. 
of a 14.5 barrel. So if that's something that you wanna do, this is what it will look like. Just letting you know. On the inside, we've got a, uh, ooh. Ooh, that's kinda filthy, bro. Bro, bro. What you need to do, get you some of this shooter's lube here. I'm telling you, bro, get you some shooter's lube. Get you some oil and clean this mop. Nah, so <laughs> at least he shoots it, right? Um, it is kind of dirty, but we good. It's also equipped with a uh, one to six LVPO. Uh, Vortex PST 1 to 6, which is going to give you a little more range. And then on the tilt with our Badger ordinance, bam, we've got our red dot. And it looks like he has a Trigicon. Bro, the boy is balling with this thing. Trigicon RMR on our little. 45 degree, is it 45 degree? I don't know. Somebody uh, try me on that one. 45 degree angle on that. We also have the Geisley charging handle. Looks like he has the LaRue Tactical MBT flat face trigger. Buttery smooth. I got one, mine is the, the original curve. Um, trigger but nonetheless it is legit well maintained um, what is it VTOR A5 buffer system for reduced felt recoil awesome um, also got a BCM uh, hand grip I like the way he kind of tied in the BCM with the BCM on the necessary parts and then the mag pull with the mag pull. Also got the MFT butt stock, which I think it gives it a nice little little look to it. It's kind of modern. You know what I'm saying? And it does feel good. It, it's got a little pad in the back. Um, it really feels pretty decent. But all in all, beautiful package beautiful package this is actually what i'm gonna use as inspiration for my build we all know that i actually am in the process um of building my own and i want to say we might have the same hand grip which is cool but of course mine is going to be a pistol more to come on this in the future just because I haven't gotten the barrel and all that good stuff for it but yeah all in all this is a great package I can't wait to shoot it once I do though that footage is gonna be up on the channel so I can really dive in and let you guys know exactly what it's like and so you guys can see it for yourself but yeah i appreciate y'all stopping by appreciate you scooty for sending this to the channel well needed well well put together i appreciate you for all of you guys that are viewing please drop down in the comments what components you think should be on an AR-15, whether it's pistol, SBR, what length barrel, which components, LVPO, red dot, prism, all this good stuff. Drop that down in the comments. Leave a like below and hit that little dangly thing so that you're notified whenever I upload a video. And that's a wrap.